Welcome to Customize Your Android, a video in which I'm going to show you five awesome setups that I've created using Nova Launcher on my phone, and I'm going to give you some inspiration to start your very own. So setup number one, we've gone for a very minimalistic look, a setup containing lots of colors, but as few lines as possible. We're using the Lines Icon Pack, Peppy Wallpapers, and there are actually two Powder Zuper widgets hidden on this screen. Now, one of the points I wanted to make with this setup is the fact that if you use Zuper Widget or KWGT Widget, you can very easily customize your widget so that it completely blends into your wallpaper. It's as simple as changing a few of the colors, and before you know it, you essentially have something that looks like it's part of your wallpaper, but it adjusts in real time. It can tell you the day, it could tell you the time, anything you want to, but it looks like it's part of the background. We've also got another powder zuper widget nestled in right at the top, and the reason behind this is that most people hold their phones lower down. They hover their thumbs towards the bottom 50% of the screen, which means that the lower half is better suited to your applications, and the more visual, less interactive parts of your setup should go further up. So the next one is taking minimalism even further. We've got smaller, daintier icons, thinner lines, and an even more faded wallpaper. So what we've got here is the Min Icon Pack, Unity Widgets 2 for the main widget, and then Wallpaper is from the Lines Icon Pack. Now one cool thing I think is worth mentioning is that with most basic launches, you can hide the dock. The dock is the set of persistent applications you normally have at the bottom, and removing that gives you this sense of space, which is really important for creating minimalism. I mean, the whole idea of minimalism relies on space. That's why we've got a widget here which is almost transparent. The more of the background you can see, the better the effect is. The icons here are particularly small, so that the whole overall image, as you see on the wallpaper, feels uninterrupted. Setup number three tries to create quite a flat atmosphere, something that would fit right at home in Google's own ecosystem with a bit of a twist. And for this, we're using the Grayscale Icon Pack, Huck Zuper Widget, and a wallpaper from the Huck Pack. And I think you'll notice it flows. The curved and flat nature at the very top of the page is mimicked right at the bottom with those icons. The black and white theme is consistent, but at the same time in contrast with the colorful wallpaper. But it's not so colorful that it really jumps out at you. Vertical widgets are another really important tool. I think they're a great way of displaying not only a lot of information, but also in a rather clean and concise manner. It also allows you to pick a wallpaper in which the subject is on one side, therefore freeing the other side for all your information. We could have gone a step further. We could have filled the top right corner above the tree and to the right of the widget with some more icons if we felt like we needed them. But to be honest for me, there's very few I actually use on a regular basis. Following on from that, we've got a setup which is, to be honest, in complete contrast. Whilst it is still using a Huck Zuper, this is nothing like the one we had previously. We've also got a Crichton wallpaper, spheroid icon pack, and a Trident Zooper on the side. And whilst there is a lot going on here, it is, to be honest, quite an organized mess. So one of the first things you'll notice is I have turned on app icon labels, something I don't normally use, but to be honest, if you're not particularly keen on creating a minimalist setup, having app labels can help you find things quicker. The combination of wallpaper, widget, and icon pack create quite a nice pastel color scheme, which is easy on the eyes. Now, one step further we could have gone is color coding. If you are in a position where you can organize apps based on red, greens, and blues, then go for it. Spheroid Icon Pack here, I really like the look of. I mean, I've always been a fan of icon packs which mask unthemed icons. This one in particular is very bright, very bold, very colorful. Next up is potentially my favorite. We're using the Material Cards Icon Pack, Zuper RL Collection Widget, and Dark Ops Wallpaper Themes. Now, Dark Ops is particularly good if you have an AMOLED display because all of these wallpapers are based on a black background, which essentially means those pixels can switch off and you can save battery. And combining the primarily dark wallpaper with this RL Zuper over here, you have not only a very practical setup, which you can just tap and instantly bring up the news, but also something which looks really clean. You've essentially created a dark theme for yourself, where in a sense, instead of the default white color that Android tends to show you on most backgrounds, you've changed it to dark and it's quite refreshing. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I've got tons more stuff like this on